Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am pre-filming this video because as you're watching this, I am at the beach with my family. My dad has rented out a beach house for our whole family, my brother, my sister, her kids, my kids. Um, it's something that my grandfather used to do. He rented out a big beach house for he and my grandmother and all four kids, my mom, her sister, and two brothers, and then their whole families. And they all had three kids. So all of my cousins lived in Ohio and I lived in Georgia. So it was just a really great way for me to, over my whole life, develop a really close relationship with them. Cause we did this throughout my entire childhood. Once a year, it was what we looked forward to every year. So as you guys know, my grandfather recently passed. So now my dad is like starting that tradition with our family. So that's where I am and that's why I'm pre-filming, but I'm really excited to share with you guys some of the products that I have been loving. It's been a while since I've done a favorites video and I feel like I've got some really good ones this time. All right, so let's start out with this beautiful work of art. It is the Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. I've always loved Tweezer Man Eyelash Curlers. If you ask me my favorite go-to drugstore eyelash curler is always this brand. And I recently purchased this rose gold one and I don't know what it is about having an eyelash curler that looks cute, but I am loving this. And I obviously like it more than just the way that it looks. It does an incredible job of curling my lashes. I already have them curled, but just so you guys can kind of see it in action, I'll curl them one more time. So I just kind of make sure I get all my lashes in there and then pulse it a little bit. And then as I am removing it, I make sure that I am lifting up so that the curl kind of bends with the lash as I'm removing the curler. So it just makes a huge difference. I am a huge advocate of curling your lashes after you apply mascara, but you have to be careful because it can stick to the lash curler. You have to make sure that there's no residue on your lash curler and you have to make sure that your mascara is completely dry. But if you do those things, I've never personally had an issue and that's a great lash curler to do it with. So a definite recent favorite of mine. Not only is it super functional and incredible, but it looks really pretty. All right, next favorite is a heat protectant that I've been loving that is incredibly affordable, and it's the Tresemme heat protectant. So this, first of all, smells incredible. Our babysitter was like, what shampoo are you using? Like all of a sudden your hair smells incredible. And I was like, it's not my shampoo, it's this heat protectant. It smells so luxury, so high end, but it does an incredible job of protecting my hair. As you guys know, I heat style my hair with a straightener and with a wand. I do it only twice a week, but I still feel like between the coloring that I'm doing and the heat styling that I'm doing, I need to make sure I'm doing a good job of protecting my hair. If you use any sort of heat on your hair, you really need to be spraying a heat protectant in before using any sort of styling tools. This is, I wanna say around four or five dollars and it's going to save your hair. This protects your hair up to 450 degrees, although I would not recommend ever having your hot tools that hot. It has a nice, broad mist, so it's not gonna get your hair super wet, but you wanna make sure that you get it everywhere in your hair and then let it dry for a few minutes. You don't wanna spray this all over and then go straight in with your curling wand because it's gonna be a little bit wet and then you're just gonna be sizzling your hair and that kind of defeats the purpose. So you wanna spray this all over generously, wait a few minutes and then go in with your heat styling. So this is gonna act like a shield between your hair and the heat. Think of it like a sunscreen for your hair. So this is gonna help the health of your hair. It's gonna make your hair smell amazing, but it also helps with the shine and just making your overall style look even better. So if you're looking for a way to protect your hair, I know some of us can't get away from heat styling. In a perfect world, I would just always let my hair air dry, but that's not the case. So if you are heat styling, you need a heat protectant, and this is an incredible one. Speaking of protection, I recently picked up this mineral sunscreen and I am in love, in love. It is the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen with SPF 50, formulated for sensitive skin, water resistant for up to 80 minutes, and contains vitamin E. This comes out like a liquid, completely liquid, and it is so thin in consistency that it feels like the perfect combination of just a little bit of moisture, but mostly just a very lightweight primer. It says it's sheer, but on my skin tone, it is not completely sheer. It does leave a little bit of a white cast on me. So this is my go-to under makeup sunscreen. So the way that I use this is I apply it all over my face, rub it in really well. I use a lot of this and I rub it in really well. Wait at least 10 minutes and then go in with my makeup. I stop right here. I know you're supposed to protect all around your neck and decollete and really your whole body, but 
I don't put makeup down here so I don't want to have like my foundation stop and then this like white cast. So because it's only my face that's really acne prone, I go in with this all over my face and then I use my chemical sunscreen on the rest of my body. So this is the perfect sunscreen for sensitive skin if you want a mineral sunscreen that's gonna feel really lightweight, wear really well under makeup, no pilling whatsoever, with a pretty minimal white cast. I feel like if you're very fair, this would not have a white cast on you, but if you have my skin tone or deeper, it's going to. So again, under makeup, but I am so impressed by this and it's a much better price tag than like the La Roche Posay mineral sunscreen that I love. This is a lot more, I wanna say it's like 10, $12 more affordable. All right, next up is a lipstick I've been loving. This is from the L'Oreal Paradise Lipsticks. This is the shade, I love the shade specifically, 150 called Rose Mirage. It's what I'm wearing right now. And when you look at it in the tube, it looks pretty intimidating. It looks like a very pink pink, but it applies like a balm. So you can see it just gives like a really pretty wash of pink that's really wearable. But I've been getting into wearing a little bit more color on my lips rather than the kind of like nude browns that I really gravitate toward in fall and winter. Now that it's spring, I want some springy color in my lips and this feels really moisturizing, it's not intimidating, and it's one of those throw in your purse, reapply throughout the day type of products. So I've been loving this and I've been pairing it with this lip liner that I've been pairing with like everything. <laughs> this is the Revlon lip liner in the shade Nude. And it's just a really beautiful nude shade that goes with so many different lipstick colors. Especially on me, I feel like this is sort of the my lips but better type of shade. So I can really get away with wearing this with anything. I also enjoy just wearing it on its own if I want to define my lips and then maybe just smear it around a little bit and put a lip gloss on or a chapstick on and have some definition around my lips without it really looking like I'm wearing a lipstick. When I was rounding up all the products for this video, I was like, what have I been loving? And I've been reaching for these so much, I didn't even notice until I was like, what have I been using constantly? And both of these are definitely in heavy rotation. All right, next up is a new dry shampoo that I've been trying and it's the Colab Dry Shampoo. I am a Batiste dry shampoo loyalist. I love that stuff. I know it gets white everywhere, but I feel like nothing soaks up the oil like that. And I feel like the white is part of the process. Like it's almost like powder that's going and finding all the grease and then you rub it in and it gives you the volume. It really soaks up all of the oil. So I just really love that. <laughs> Clearly I'm like going on a soapbox about it. But I picked this up and this does not have that white cast and I feel like it does a really good job. I like the Dove one, I like a lot of the other ones I've tried, but I feel like they don't soak up as much oil as the Batiste one. This is the first non-white residue dry shampoo I've tried, though I feel like it's actually still doing a really good job without leaving the white powdery look in your hair. And I know they have a brunette version and everything, but the original, there's something about the original that just is incredible. But I might be converting to this one because of how well it's performing without leaving the white powdery look in my hair. It smells really good, I think the packaging is really cute, and it's super affordable. So Batiste might be having some competition in this house. All right, next up is a lotion that I have used almost all of at this point. This is the new Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. So when I did, what video was it that I did? It was a What's New at the Drugstore where I talked about the new Tanologist Ultra Dark or Extra Dark Self Tanner that I've been loving. A lot of people ask like, what's making your skin look so shiny and hydrated on top of the tan that I was wearing in that video? And it was this lotion. I love this lotion. So a lot of people have talked about the Nivea lotion. If you want that like oily, shiny look to your body, but the Nivea one has a slight fragrance to it, and if you are a self-tanner, you know that fragrance is the enemy of self-tanner. It eats away at your self-tan, so you want to use fragrance-free lotions. So this is fragrance-free, great for sensitive skin, but it leaves that like dewy, glossy finish to your skin. It has omega fatty acids, shea butter, B vitamins, plus sodium PCA. This stuff is the real deal, not only does it make your body look beautiful and look like it's glowing, but it's actually skincare for your body. So let me put a little bit on so you can see what I'm talking about. It's like this really rich lotion. I feel like shea butter is always a really rich option for lotion, but it really does rub in. It doesn't feel like sticky throughout the day, but then it leaves this beautiful, just kind of sheen on your skin. 
to where you just look really healthy and glowy without it looking like you're wearing some sort of a body oil. So I'm just really impressed by this formula that I've been putting this on every day after I get out of the shower and my skin feels incredible and I feel like it looks really pretty, especially now that it's shorts and dress season. This just gives your legs that little bit of a glow that I feel like we all need this time of year. All right, next up that I've been loving is this Main Magic 10-in-1 Split and Mender. This is powered by argan oil and plant protein. This is by Eva NYC, this is not sponsored. This claims to mend split ends, anti-breakage, and reduce frizz. So this has argan oil, baobab, I'm butchering that, and plant protein. And the, the 10 things that it does are mend split ends, minimize breakage, reduce frizz, moisturize, soften, nourish, increase shine, smooth, seals the cuticles of your hair, and gives them a healthy look and feel. You can use this on damp or on dry hair. I've been using it on my dry hair. And you just take a little bit, it smells incredible. And I rub it into my hands a little bit and then you just put it on your ends. If you have those like really spiky, looking ends because maybe you've got a lot of split ends, maybe you're overdue for a haircut. This is gonna mask that and make your ends look much healthier, much more hydrated, and it makes your hair smell really good. I feel like between this and this Tresemme um, heat protectant, I feel like my hair has just been smelling so good. But if you, like me, are really bad about remembering to do hair masks, knowing that hair masks are really good for your hair, especially mending damaged hair, this is a great way to just kind of throw a mask in on your already styled hair. You can do this every day if you want. And over time, you're gonna see a big difference in the health of your hair. This isn't just a styling product that's gonna make it look good. It's actually got protein in it that's gonna help the health of your hair. So beautiful, beautiful product. I continue to just be blown away by the hair products by this brand. And that is everything. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Maybe you found some new things that you wanna try out yourself. Let me know what you guys have been loving in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.